Do you want to build a business in your finances, your sales team to live long, way long after you are? The second case that here is Colonel Sanders. I love referencing Colonel Sanders a lot. Without people think, man, I'm too old or I'm too young to start a business. This case with Colonel Sanders, too old. He was 65 years old when he started Kentucky Fried Chicken. He says, you know what? I got this only value of asset that I have, which is a great chicken recipe. If you ever Googled uh, Colonel Sanders' story, he'd sell his chicken at these diners off these uh, gas stations where people go travel in the South and sell them chicken. And people love the chicken. He had a very good chicken recipe. And when he retired, he got the Social Security check of a couple hundred bucks. He's like, no, no, I'm not living on Social Security with just a couple hundred bucks. I'm not living my life this way. Let me make a long story short. Thousands, nearly a thousand no's knows, 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 kept coming his way about his chicken recipe. Well, guess what he still did? He still pressed on, still moved forward because he had faith. By the way, he is not a believer. Colonel Sanders before this process was not a believer. He wasn't a church going, Bible banging, believing in Christ, CEO chicken recipe having Colonel Sanders. He was just a dude that refused to live on a couple hundred dollars of social security on a monthly basis. And he did something about it. Instead of complaining I don't have the resources. He accessed something like, you know, what do I have in my hands? I do have a resource. That resource is a great chicken recipe. And you guys know the story. By the way, I think uh, 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 right down here in, in, in Plano, there's a Kentucky Fried Chicken headquarters right here off of Legacy and headquarters drive here in, in Plano, Texas. Which, by the way, side note, it was only until he was 75 years old that Colonel Sanders gave his life to Christ. That's right. You thought this good old boy from the South never believed in a father never creator? No, it wasn't until 75 years old that he took the beloved prayer to give his life to Christ. And what did God do to his business? Bow, bow, expand it. And to this day, it's still in business. I'm not